Hi guys! Um, so this video is going to be Grayson's two month update. I cannot believe my little boy is already two months old. Time is just flying by. So I have some notes over here um, that I'm going to read off of. So if I keep looking over to the, you know, side, don't freak out. I'm just reading off my notes because there's a lot that happened in the past month. So um, we took Grayson to his two month doctor's appointment and he is now 12 pounds and um, seven and a half ounces. And that puts him at the 55th percentile for weight. So it kind of went down last month. He was in like the 60 something percentile, both for height and weight. And then this month he went down to the 50s. Uh, percentile for both height and weight. So again, weight, he is 12 pounds, seven and a half ounces in the 55th percentile. And length, he is 23 inches long, putting him in the 50th percentile. So the biggest thing that happened this month is Grayson can now smile. I will input a picture um, that I took with a little sticker that we had. Isn't he just so darn cute? Aren't you just so darn cute? He won't smile now, but he has started smiling and he just smiles more and more each day. It's really like on cue now. Um, and it's really cute how he just lights up as soon as he sees me walk into the room. Um, it makes me feel really special and I get more of a feedback other than him just staring blankly at me. So I love seeing him smile at me now. Another big development that happened is Grayson now loves sucking on his hands. Um, usually he likes to suck on his left one. There are some times when he will try to suck on both at the same time. Um, and it's usually funny to watch. Um, I'll try to input a video here. So cute. <laughs> yeah, don't try to fit it all in your mouth. Because it just makes me wag slightly. I know. <laughs> Look at She's right here. I got her. Look at her. Are you shoving it all in? Oh. He's got to figure out his thumb. Just your thumb. There you go. <laughs> it's your thumb. He's like, that's not big enough. It's not enough to suck on. Yeah. That's his right hand. He loves trying to fit his whole fist into his mouth. I don't think he's quite got it yet that that's not really going to happen. Um, Oh look, Felix, my cat, has joined us for the video as well. Felix is a little envious of Dr Grayson. Um, he is jealous of all the attention that Grayson gets and it's kind of funny to watch. Uh, Grayson loves sucking on his hands now. It's nice because he can self-soothe. He still loves his pacifier as well, but he has definitely started sucking on his hands much more. So uh, one of the big things that happened this past month is we went out of state for the first time. Um, my family had a girls weekend in New Indiana and so we went there so I'll include some pictures here So it was a really fun time. It was really special taking Grayson out of state for the first time. Um, it was just really fun. He was the only boy there. It was girls weekend, but nobody seemed to mind that he was there. Grayson still loves eating. He eats all the time. Um, we're not really on a schedule yet. I just kind of feed him whenever he shows that he wants to eat. 
he's been getting a little challenging lately and to the fact where um, during the day he won't really want to nurse from me anymore. Oh, I am still um, breastfeeding. I have not used formula at all. Um, but he is getting a little picky where during the day now I have to first put a pacifier in his mouth and then switch it out for my boob right away. Um, it's like he won't just nurse straight from my breast. And I don't know what that changes at night throughout the night or when he first wakes up it's fine it's just when he's been up for a while it's like he realizes it's my boob and he doesn't want it I don't really understand but it does make breastfeeding a little harder for me to do now another big thing that happened this past month is we celebrated Mother's Day I'll include a picture here So it was a really fun day. Um, Anthony got me a gift of a patio set. Um, we really needed one for our deck. So that was really nice. We went out and got ice cream and just kind of had a lazy day. It was really nice. Just kind of spent it together as a family. I love being this little boy's mommy. That's for sure. Grayson loves sitting up now. You can see he's sitting up on my lap now. He's doing really good at holding his head up. Um, I still do have to support him from time to time and I definitely have to hold up his body because he'll like move. He'll like lean to the right and left. Um, he, I have a lamp on and he's just really loving this lamp. That's what he's looking at. But he loves sitting up. If you're holding him um, in your arms and he's laying flat, he gets very upset. You have to hold him in, in a sitting position like this and then he's happy. He is a big boy and he likes to look out. Um, and see what's going on. So it's really cute. Grayson is starting to talk a ton. Now he's not saying words, obviously he's only two months old, but he is cooing a ton. I know you heard him a little bit earlier in the video. I don't know if you'll hear more of him. Oh wait, I have videos. I'll just input a video right here for you. On that hand again. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. So yeah, he's talking a ton and I love, I think his voice is the cutest voice ever. I think that, I mean, I'm sure I'm just saying that because I'm his mom, but I just think he's so cute. Ah, I love his voice. He loves talking. He'll talk to himself if he's by himself or he'll talk to you if you're you know, sitting in front of him. Um, he's definitely starting to get better at like moving his tongue around as the month has went on and like saying different like coups and like having different pitches and stuff. So he's doing really good and I love hearing him talk. Grayson loves music. So we have a music book um, and it plays like different nursery rhymes and it has like Disney characters in it and he loves his book. He loves music, anything that makes noise, he loves, he just focuses on. He, um, he loves when you sing to him, I'll sing nursery rhymes to him, I'll sing made up songs to him, and he loves it. In addition to his book, he also has a lion toy. I'll input a video here of him playing with it.
he loves that thing. It rattles, it makes noise. Um, he sucks on it. He just loves it. And I've been like trying to teach him a little bit about body parts. So I'll show like eyes, nose, mouth, you know, and he really, really likes his lion. I take it everywhere with me. Um, he also has this little blankie right here. It's an elephant. He loves chewing on the elephant's trunk and holding the blanket. I can't believe he's to a point where he's actually like playing with toys now. He does get bored after a little bit playing with them. But I just can't believe at two months that he would be like wanting to play with toys, but he loves them. So another big thing that happened this past month was we had our first big road trip. So I was in a wedding and it was in Dayton. Uh, we live in Columbus, so we drove like an hour and a half, an hour, 45 minutes um, to like, you know, this wedding. And there was our first big road trip and first hotel night. I'll so show you a picture of Grayson all spiffied up with his dad. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? So yeah, we had a great time. We just brought a little bassinet for Grayson to sleep in. He did awesome and it was a really fun time. We do have a sound machine um, that we bring with us when we go out of town and stay in the hotels and it makes like white noise and it seems to help him a lot. We also um, still use his swaddles. He loves to be swaddles. We have the Swaddle Me um, from I think we got it from Target and it works really really well although it does seem like Grayson is starting to get really tall and he's kind of like outgrowing it so I think I'm gonna have to get a bigger one I'm not sure if I'll stay with the swaddle me or if maybe I'll get like a halo sleep sack or something um, but he loves to be swaddled it really helps him sleep longer I feel I've tried to put him down um, without the, without being swaddled and he just he's he still has the marrow spasms and they'll wake him up and he just doesn't sleep as well without it. So love swaddles. Grayson still isn't really sure about his bath time. We give him baths about twice a week and he's really just not sure about it. He doesn't cry when he's in the bath, but he doesn't smile or, you know, coo either. He's just kind of like, eh, let's get this over with. I don't think I really like this. Um, but we just, we have a little bath insert that we put in the sink and fill it up with a little water and just, you know, get him. I have a lot of problem with like in his neck, he gets a lot of like crud in it. And it's either from like milk or sweat. So a lot of times I'm trying to like wipe in there with like baby wipes and stuff, but I also make sure I get it in there when I give him a bath as well. He also tends to get like gross crud, like in between his fingers or in between his toes. It's like this black stuff and it's, it's just nasty. So I'm trying to get there. We have had a little mishap uh, or a couple mishaps. One time we were giving him a bath and he peed all over. We had to redo the bath. The other time I gave him a bath and he pooped in the bathtub. So I had to redo all that. Um, but look at this cute little picture of him and his little bear towel. Isn't he so cute? Oh, I can't get over how cute he is. So just still not sure about bath time. Grayson has been sleeping awesome. I am so incredibly lucky. I hope this never ends. He only gets up once through the, throughout the night and he's been sleeping seven to eight hours at a time. Um, we are just now getting to the point where instead of going to bed at midnight, he's starting to go to bed earlier and earlier and we are starting up a um, bedtime a little bit. I'm trying to get it around 8, 39. It differs from here to there, um, but we are getting there and he just falls asleep and then he just stays asleep. He'll wake up once, maybe about 3 or 4 a.m. and then he'll keep sleeping until about 9 o'clock and then he'll be up for the day. So I've been sleeping really awesome. Anthony's been sleeping really awesome. It's really nice. And when I he wakes up in the middle of the night, I just get him out of his bassinet, feed him, and he goes right back to sleep. I don't have to like get up and rock him. He just falls right back asleep. So it's been heaven. Um, he's still in his bassinet next to our bed. I really like how he's close to me, especially since he's still waking up during the night. But yeah, he's been sleeping awesome. Naps during the day, he's not too awesome on. I have him in a little 
rocker and he'll sleep for a little bit but I don't have him swaddle so he doesn't sleep very well so I'm wondering if maybe that's attributing to him sleeping so long at night. Are you tired now? But yeah, so naps not so great, but definitely sleeping awesome during the night. Grayson has started getting a really strong grip now. Um, I will, you know, if anything comes across his fingers, he will just grip right on and he's got a really strong grip. A lot of people have told me, wow, he has a really strong grip. So he's doing really good holding onto my hand. Uh, he just amazes me with his strength. He also does really good with like eye contact, especially as the month has gone on. His eye contact has gotten a ton better. Okay, so the one negative thing about Grayson, well, I shouldn't say that. One of the things that we're struggling with about Grayson is he does tend to get a lot of gas. And I can definitely tell when it is gas because his stomach will be really hard. He'll straighten his legs and he'll just be crying. Grayson is a really easy baby and he usually only cries if he's hungry or tired but other times he will cry because he has really bad gas and he just can't get it through um, it's really hard for me to see him have you know this pain especially because there's really not much I can do we have been pumping his legs kind of like in a bicycle motion we've also been giving him like tummy massages to try to get the gas to go I went to the store and I got like hey. mama's bliss like gas relief drops and those do seem to help they do seem to have him poop a lot more too um, but sometimes that stuff just doesn't work and we just have to grin and bear you know him with the gas it's not the best um, he does seem to get it more in the evening um, and he's still having his witching hour which happens anywhere from like 6 to 9 p.m. Um, he's really fussy and that's usually when we see a lot of the gas problems. Grayson has now moved up to size one diapers which is crazy he's not a newborn anymore although I do like how big those size one diapers are on him um, but he's almost outgrowing those can you believe it um, so yeah we are in size one diapers and we are in zero to three month clothing now we are not in newborn clothing anymore which is sad it was sad for me to have to put away his newborn clothes I don't want to I think on his hospital going home outfit one I want to make like a shadow box of it um, but yeah it was really sad that we are right now in a zero to three months can you believe it you're in zero to three but he still got the quivering chin going he still has his moral spasms not as often but they do happen he's just he's a really awesome baby I love being his mommy I love playing with him um, two months is oh, much different than when he was a newborn he's more active now I can play with him he's awake a little bit more yeah we're having a great time so yeah I just wanted to give a little bit of an update on Grayson an update on me I'm doing really well um, my hair is just now starting to fall out um, a little bit by a little bit so that's really frustrating to have to deal with but other than that, I'm totally healed up and everything is back to normal. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to give this little update here. Um, and before I know it, we're going to be at the three month. Um, Grayson doesn't have another doctor's appointment until his four month old appointment. So we get a month off to kind of chill. So I might not have a height measurement, but I will definitely take his weight and let you all know about that. So that's all that we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you lo enjoyed looking at this little man. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Say bye.